I got my hair split into two sections. Wow, guys, I am just a vision. <laughs> channel today you guys i hope you're all having a good day or night or whatever time of day it may be where you are i'm just glad you decided to spend a few minutes with us today and when i say us it's really just me as many of you guys know jared is on a business trip in panama and he has been so slammed with that that he has not been able to video too much. As we mentioned in our previous video, I was gonna be doing a lot of filming this week, well myself, and of course our little Finley. Hi, can you say hi to everyone? You guys, little Finley needs a bath. I need to give you a bath, huh? We gotta do that today. <laughs> he usually is just as white as the format. Oh, you wanna say hi? Okay, yes, give him ring kisses. You guys, I have to always try and make sure I show this little guy. So many of you always say we miss Finn when he's not in the video. So giving you your little Finn fix for the day. Finn fix, I kinda like that. Here's your little Finn fix of the day. But you guys are so sweet. I love that you love him so much. I mean, cause first of all, how can you not? He's the cutest little thing in the world. But it just makes my heart happy that others love cute Finn like I do. So thank you for that. Anyways, with it being just me, I've been trying to think of some fun video ideas for you guys. And there has been a vlog that I've wanted to film, but it just hasn't been the right time yet. And I feel like with it just being me here, now is the perfect time to do it. So I've gotten quite a few questions over the past year of how I curl my hair. And you guys, it may surprise you, but I use curlers. <gasps> These are the best, like the best, the best, the best. This is the best find I've found in years, I will say. And I use them every time I want to curl my hair, which is often, and the curls stay in for a long time. So I'm just so excited to show you how I do it. And hopefully if you guys are looking for a way to not put heat on your hair, this is the hair shale for you. I'm telling you it has made the biggest difference in my hair by not putting heat on it. First of all, let's just talk curlers for a second. I don't know about any of you, but when I hear the word curlers, my mind goes straight back to my childhood. My cute mom would always put curlers, the sponge curlers. Do you guys remember those? People still use them today and I think they're great, but the, the little sponge curlers with like the plastic and they snap. I just remember being a little girl, I would sit in this little cute pink chair in front of my mom's bed. She would sit on her bed and she would put curlers in my hair at night, all over my hair. And I remember it pulling and it hurt a lot of the time, but then in the morning you'd take them out and you'd have these bouncy little Shirley Temple curls. And I thought I was just the cutest little thing. So fast forward to as I've gotten older, I've always just used curling irons to curl my hair. Over time, like the heat on your hair just kills it. Like I've gone through so many phases with my hair. As I was a little girl, I had the thickest hair. It was super long. Then I went through a time where I wore extensions and it like literally ripped out my hair. It was the like weave in extensions, ripped out my hair. So I stopped doing that. Then I've gone through processing. Like you just have to be really careful with your hair. And I feel like one of the biggest things that damages it is heat. Unfortunately, for a lot of us that don't have, you know, the type of hair that we would like to have. I feel like the grass is always greener, by the way. Like I feel like, a lot of people that have stick straight hair wish they had some body and some curls to their hair. And I feel like people that have curls in their hair wish they had the straight, smooth hair. So I think it's kind of funny. We always want what we can't have usually, but there's ways to try and achieve that. And this is one of them, you guys. I have to say, I have never loved my hair curl as much as I do with this, and it's no heat. So. Enough of that talking. I'm gonna try and put the camera down. I've never done one of these tutorial videos. It's gonna be weird because usually Jared's here to help me film, like if I'm cooking or something, but this is all on me today, so it's gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead, set the camera down, and then I'll kind of just explain to you how I do it. I mean, this happens every day usually, so I'll kind of just show you in real time and we'll have fun along the way. Oh, 
You guys, really quick, I just gotta show you. Here are the behind the scenes of the video. I found some boxes, a jewelry box. And I'm gonna go ahead and just set the camera. Let's see. Okay guys, I think that's gonna work. Okay, so before we get into how I put the curlers in, let's talk about the curlers themselves that I'm using. So these are noodle head curlers. They're by Beyond the Zone. I kept the packaging because I knew I would want to share this with you guys. So I just picked these up at Sally's and I'm gonna see if I can find them online. They probably sell them online. If they do, I'm gonna drop a link down below, but I'm sure there's a lot of other brands out there that do the same thing. So this curler, it's a noodle curler and pretty much it's like a sponge cooler. It's covered in this soft material. These are cute, they're polka dot. On the ends of them are Velcro. So I love this instead of a regular sponge cooler. A lot of time with regular sponge curlers, your hair will get like snagged in there. I'm sure a lot of you who have used those know what I'm talking about. I just remember as a little girl, I try and pull it out and it'd be all snagged and tangly. That has never happened with these. So I think this is the coolest invention but they come, this one comes in a pack of 12. I don't use all 12, my hair doesn't need that. If you have more hair on the thick side, you may need two packs, but I, I would say I kind of have a medium hair type. It's not super thin, it is longer, but it's not super, super thick either. Maybe start with one pack, order another one if you need it, but 12 curlers come in this type of pack. I got in the shower and I've just let it air dry. The back of it's still a little bit wet back here, but for the most part, it's pretty dry. Now, you can totally put in curlers on wet hair. It will take a lot longer for them to dry, as well as you will have a much tighter curl. So I always prefer putting them in on pretty much dry hair. I mean, you could leave it a little bit damp, but I prefer starting with dry hair. I don't love doing them the first day after I wash my hair. I'm not one of those people that loves fresh, fresh, clean hair. I don't know why, I just, I don't. I like second day hair a little bit better. I feel like there's more body to my hair rather than it just being like straight. But enough of that, let me get to how we put these in. So here's what I do. You guys, I'm not a hair professional. This is just what has worked for me. And I feel like so many people out there try and look for ways to not put heat on their hair. And I just wanted to share this. So what I do is I split my hair into two sections. Now, again, if you have thicker hair, you will need to probably do it into more sections, but I just use a big scrunchie or you could use a clip. So I got my hair split into two sections. Wow, guys, I am just a vision. <laughs> Jared's gonna see this. He, first of all, he giggles every time I put in curlers in my hair. He calls me Curly Sue. Speaking of that, you guys, if you have seen that movie, comment down below. That is one of my favorite movies from when I was a little girl and I made Jared watch it. And so now whenever I have curlers in, he's like, oh, there's my little Curly Sue. Okay, so basically what I do is I have the two sections here. Then I split my hair in back into two sections as well, kind of two even sections. So kind of think of it as like you're gonna do braids or something. And then from there, I split it into two more sections. So just pretty much into smaller pieces for each curl. Now, as you can tell here, it's quite a bit of hair in here. Like if I were gonna do this with a curling iron, I'd probably do it about half this. But because I like the bigger curls, I don't want it so tight, I do them in bigger sections. All I do is you just wet your hand a little bit with water. You could use a spray bottle too. I just don't have one and I don't go all the way up. I leave quite a bit of space because I don't want the curl right up next to my head. If you like that, if you like, maybe you have shorter hair or you like that style where the curls come all the way to the scalp, by all means, go all the way up. But pretty much wherever you wet it is where it's gonna curl, obviously. And the wetter it is, more time it's gonna take to dry. Also keep in mind the humidity where you live. I do have to say, ever since moving here to Florida, my hair takes so much longer to dry. In Utah, it would dry pretty quick, but here, it takes a lot longer. So just keep that in mind. But basically, all I do is I start right here, and just think of it like the curling iron. You're wrapping it around, and then I leave the bottom part straight, and then I kind of cr curl it around to cover where I just wrapped it, and you take it, and you just, they'll curl it like that 
and then I leave a good inch to two inches of straight out and I'll show you why. You guys, that is it. Like how simple was that? Literally, I'll show you again. Cause I know when I watch hair tutorials, I'm like, oh, I wanna see that again. Like when it's new, I get it. But it is like the easiest thing. So take the hair, you're gonna just put a little bit of water on it, like so. And then you're just gonna come in here with the curler and wrap it around. I do mine with my hair length, it's about three times. I'm holding onto the straight piece here, wrap it around and Velcro. And then that sticks out. And you guys, they'll just kind of hang there. They'll kind of just dangle like this. You'll see when I get them all in, it's a sight for sore eyes. I'll, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> You'll see why Jared calls me Curly Sue. So now I'm gonna just do the same thing on this side. So I have my two sections that I split here. Just take the water. I just do about that much. And then same thing, I just curl it up and I Velcro it like that. But you see how easy that is? That took literally a minute. I do this within like five minutes easy every morning or night. You can definitely sleep in these as well. I'll get into that in a second. But then after I have that bottom section in, that's four curlers right there. I split my top section into a few sections. And here I'll do this one. Sometimes I'll honestly just put this piece in one big one. And then it's just like bigger curls. For today, I think I'm gonna show you just a few smaller ones. So just the teensy bit of water right here. Same thing, I just wrap it, leave some out on the end, roll it up, and then you just snap it in like that. So yet again, you just wrap it, roll it, and snap it. I feel like that could be like a theme song. Wrap it, roll it, snap it. But there you go, you guys, okay. Now we're good. That was too funny. All right, so what I do is usually, this will take about an hour to dry on my hair type. You'll, you're gonna need to play around with your hair type. You can also totally sleep in these. I do that all the time. They're actually really soft to sleep on. And because I part it down like this, like the back of my head is totally like, there's nothing there. So if you're a back sleeper, it's totally fine because you won't even know they're really there, but if you're a side sleeper, it may bug you. So usually what I'll do is I'll put them in my hair, I'll do my makeup, I'll eat breakfast, an hour later I take them out and I'll show you guys the result. So you can do it that way, you can sleep in them, you can keep them in if you like tighter curls, you can keep them in for longer. The longer they stay in, the more curly they're gonna get with the amount of water. So that's the biggest difference. So there you have it, you guys. There are the curlers in my hair. I'm now Curly Sue. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go make a smoothie, do a few things, throw on some laundry, and then I will check back in with you and show you the end result. One hour later. Hey guys, so it's only been about 45 minutes but I have an appointment I have to run to, so I'm gonna take them out now. I kind of touch just to feel if it feels right, like you can usually tell. So watch how quick this is. Literally, all you do is you just unsnap the Velcro and they literally, look at that, ah, they just fall out. Like, do you guys see that curl? It looks like I just took a curling iron to that. And I love how when I put the water on, I use cold water, I forgot to mention that, but it just makes your hair like shiny and pretty. You guys, I didn't even touch that and look at that curl already. So I'm gonna go ahead, get them all out, and then I'll show you the final result. Hey you guys, so here is the result. As you can tell, it's pretty curly right now. Now what I do, I take my hair and I kind of just fluff it with my fingers like this. See how it's just loose and not super, super bouncy? I'll usually take my backpack brush and I will just brush through it as well to kind of make the curl softer. And then over here, I kind of just shake it same thing, kind of brush it out. But you guys, can you believe those curls? And this 
is less than 45 minutes in your hair and look at the difference. Like how beautiful are these curls? They just look wavy and effortless. What I always like to do after I take them out because my hair is really limp right now because I just washed it. I love putting curlers in on like day two, day three washed hair because my hair is just pretty limp so it has more to hold on to. But all I do to finish it is I take a little bit of oil, hair oil. This one's just a Morocco type hair oil. Rub it my hands, not too much. I don't want to make it greasy, but I'll just take it through and kind of comb it through some of the curls. So there you have it, you guys. Curled hair with no heat, and I feel like they just look beautiful. You can definitely put on a little hairspray if your hair doesn't stay. But that is it. That is how you get ready. Literally, you guys saw it took 10 seconds to take those out and you're just left with these beautiful curls. Heat free, damage free, which is amazing. And I just love it. I feel like they look so pretty, so soft, shiny, and healthy. All right guys, I had to pick up little Finn. He was pawing at me to hold him. But I think I'm gonna close out the vlog for today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little hair curling tutorial. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you come back tomorrow because guys, I'm working on our guest room and I have some really fun design ideas. But have a wonderful day and we will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.